Hello and welcome to another episode of Flora on Food. Uh, the seasons have changed and we're going to think about winter warmers to keep you warm and cosy in your van. So today's recipe is simple spiced rice pudding that can be cooked on your two ring burner. This is a very simple recipe, it's going to be a one pot job where you chuck all of the ingredients in and simmer it until the rice cooks out. So here we go, are you ready? First off, you may have noticed my delicious dungarees. I'd like to shout out Lucy and Yak, which are a company that were born out of van life. I love the designs, I really do. Salt and pepper rating, one out of five. It's a very simple one. So we've got 150 grams of Arborio risotto rice. We did this in uh, episode one, so if you've got any spare for that, this will be perfect. This is gonna feed about two people. So in we go, straight away, 150 grams of Arborio risotto rice. 40 grams of salted butter. Straight in. 150 millilitres of double cream. Get every last drop out of that. A pint of full fat milk. In we go. Pinch of salt. Spices, I've got some ground cinnamon and I've got some ground mixed spice. I'm going to go easy on this because I don't want it to be too pungent, too powerful. So about, about a teaspoon of each. You can always add more, but you can't take away. But you want to make sure it's cooked out. So around a teaspoon of each. Next up, some orange zest, but I'm going to peel it so we can take it out. I'm not really keen on zesting it straight into it. Just want to release the essential oils and I'm going to add a little bit of juice as well. go. Just a squeeze of the juice. Just watch out for the pips, try and catch them in your hand. There we are. And 75 grams of golden caster sugar. And then to add a little wee bit of luxury, I've got a vanilla pod. This I know might be a little bit too much luxury for van life, but you know, I'm a chef. I just have these handy. Um, so we're gonna split that, scrape the seeds out and put the whole pod and the seeds into it, which will really infuse the rice pudding. So split it down the pod all the way through. Peel each side out and then do a long scrape. That's all the seeds. In we go, and the pod too. So that's all your ingredients in there, give it a stir. And we'll get it on the ring now. Rice pudding is now on a high heat and we're going to bring it to the boil. Continuously stir it because it can stick to the bottom of the pan, so just be cautious. And the rice is going to slowly soak up all of the milk and cream with all the spices. So just keep stirring. The butter is now melted and it's starting to bring to the boil. So I'm just going to turn it down slightly. Make sure you keep stirring it, but it's really starting to smell really nice with the orange and the spices. Thickening up nicely now. Um, the rice isn't quite cooked yet, so I'm going to add a little bit of water and a little bit more milk. At home normally you'd kind of pour this now into a baking dish and bake it in the oven, that's how you get that nice skin that everybody loves. 
maybe not everybody, but your dads and granddads do. Um, but we're just going to take it down, reduce it really nicely, so it's a nice, stodgy consistency. So that extra milk and water has been soaked up by the rice, so I'm just going to check how far we are away. So, I'm just going to test how cooked the rice is. I've got it up on high now, but just keep stirring it. Still a little bit off. Mm, that's getting nice though. So, it's reduced quite a lot, so do keep stirring. Rice isn't quite there. I'm going to start the accompaniment that's going to go on top. It's going to be another little luxurious bit. So, I'm going to heat up a pan. And I'm going to roast some hazelnuts. I'm just going to turn you down. So I'm going to get this pan really hot and add our hazelnuts and give them a good toasting off in the hot pan. I'm going to have to give them a shimmy every now and again, but just don't burn them. So we're nearly there. The nuts have been toasted, so I've turned them off, but keeping them in the hot pan. I'm just going to remove the vanilla pod and the orange peelings. Try to leave as much rice pudding still in there. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. So turn the heat off. Right then, time to plate up. Now we're going to drizzle a wee bit of honey over the top. You could do anything really, you could add fresh blueberries, maple syrup, a blob of jam, peanut butter would work really well too. So yeah, that's it. So here we have it, our simple van life spiced rice pudding. Let me know if you try it at home. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed the video today and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at VW underscore Flora. Thanks for watching.